everyone, welcome to Smart Math Online Tutor. We are going to see the types of taxes and how they are paid through this video. First, let's see what are taxes. The money collected by a government from its citizens to meet recurrent expenses are called taxes. Taxes are basically divided into two as direct taxes and indirect taxes. Direct taxes are paid directly to the government, whereas indirect taxes are charged indirectly through a service provider or a trader. Rates, custom duty, and income tax are some examples for direct taxes. Value added tax or VAT is one of the best examples for indirect taxes. Now let's have a look at these types of taxes in detail. Rates. This tax is collected by urban councils, municipal councils and provincial councils from the households and businesses in their administrative domain. Rates collected are used for purposes like maintenance of roads, street lamps, garbage collection as well as disposal. How are rates paid? When you own a property, its annual value is assessed annually by the government and a certain percentage of it is charged as rates. The so charged rates can be paid annually or quarterly. Look at this. The annual value of a house is assessed as 36,000 rupees. The annual rate percentage is 4%. We need to find the rates paid quarterly. First, we get the annual rates charged. That is 36,000 into 4 over 100, which is equal to 1,440 rupees. Since we need to find the quarterly payment, we divide 1,440 rupees by 4 to obtain 360 rupees. Let's see into another example. Annual value of a bookshop is 48,000 rupees. The quarterly payment is 600 rupees and we are going to find the rates percentage. Quarterly payment is 600. That into 4 gives us the annual payment as 2,400 rupees. Then 2,400 rupees over 48,000 into 100% will give the rates percentage. That is 5%. The next type of tax we are going to look into is custom duty. When any item is imported or exported, certain percentage of its value is paid as custom duty to the Sri Lanka customs. But individuals who work abroad are given a duty-free quota on their return. They can purchase goods without paying custom duty from duty-free shops in the international airport. And certain government servants are entitled to a reduction in custom duty when importing vehicles. Let's turn into some examples. A car worth 2 million rupees is imported. 60% of its value is to be paid to the customs. What is the total cost of the vehicle? First calculate the custom duty paid, that is 2 million into 60 over 100. It gives us 1,200,000. Value of the car plus the custom duty is the cost. It sums up to 3,200,000. Look at this example now. A stock of fruits worth 300,000 is exported by paying 18,000 rupees as custom duty. What percentage of the value of the stock is paid as custom duty? It can be simply calculated through dividing custom duty charged by the value into 100%. That is 18,000 over 300,000 into 100% which gives you 6%. Next we are going to see what is income tax. The tax imposed on an individual's annual income which exceeds a certain limit is called income tax. 
It is paid annually or quarterly to the Inland Revenue Department. This table, which was implemented by the Inland Revenue Department, tells us the method of calculating the income tax based on the annual income. It can be easily understood by the following example. Mr. Pereira earns an annual income of 1,800,000 rupees. How much should he pay as the income tax? First, we should split his income into portions of 500,000 because the table based on income tax imposes tax on 500,000 parts. So, 1,800,000 can be separated into 3 500,000 parts and a 300,000 part. The first 500,000 is tax free. 4% and 8% tax is imposed on the next two 500,000 portions and 12% tax is imposed on the final 300,000 rupees. Now we calculate the tax for each portion separately. First portion is tax free. Second portion has a tax of 20,000 rupees. Third portion gives an amount of 40,000 rupees where the last portion gives a tax of 36,000 rupees. Once when the taxes imposed for each portion is added, we gain 96,000 rupees. So, Mr. Pereira must pay 96,000 rupees as income tax on his annual income. The last type of tax we are going to see is value added tax or simply VAT. When a product or a service is bought by an individual, he pays the trader or the service provider the total value of the good or service and a percentage of the total value in extra. This is called the value added tax. The trader or the service provider is bounded to pay a tax to the government. It is charged from the customer as VAT. Let's have a look at an example. The monthly telephone charge of a person is 2500 rupees. A VAT of 15% is charged. What will be the monthly bill? If the monthly charge is 2500 rupees, 15% of it is gained by multiplying 2500 into 15 over 100. This gives 375 rupees. So, total will be the monthly charge plus the VAT. That is 2500 plus 375 which is equal to 2875 rupees. Hope I made myself clear about the taxes and how they are paid. See you with another smart math tip. Until then, goodbye.